Hi there, Nick here from Technology Lowdown. Look, I do apologize firstly for the quality of this video. I am not using my usual web camera or my microphone setup because I am traveling. I'm at, in fact on a little island off the east coast of North Queensland and I had to travel fairly light as I was on a small little Cessna plane flying over here, but I had enough space for my laptop and a headset microphone. So that means I can make this video today. So what we're looking at today is the Intel Milk, uh, the fifth generation, and how it can get server 2016 and even 2019 running on this Intel Milk. Now, you might wonder what's so hard about this. Well, the problem is, is that Intel's drivers out of the box do not support server 2016 or 19. So you need to modify the INF file. Thankfully, some other people have ran into this problem before on the web and have posted their experiences. I learned from uh, this uh, person here who is a uh, uh, Citrix engineer, and uh, we can see that there is quite a workable solution. So his solution here um, is in relation to getting it to run on server 2016. I'll show you the screen there. Um, and we can see that it's a little bit of a lengthy process and if you haven't done it before um, you might find it a bit challenging so let's show you uh, I'll show you how we can get this going for your Intel Nook. Now I'm currently remoted into the server 2019 uh, uh, OS that I've got running on the Intel Nook at the moment and as you can see I've already got the driver installed so I'm not actually going to do it now but I'm just going to show you all the steps that are required to get it to work as I was able to get to work right here, and it seems to be chugging along quite happily. It's been stable for um, uh, at least a couple of days. It's been on for the last day though, since I turned it back on. So first things first, we need to jump on over to the Intel website and uh, download the driver for your system. Now I'm using an Intel Nook fifth generation with the i7, and I just Googled that one and it came up with this page. So we then want to uh, filter by the operating system, the highest one of course, which is Windows 10 64-bit. Um, if you're using 32-bit, I would dare say that you need to change from that one. Uh, we're then looking for the uh, network driver, and we can see that it is the Intel Gigabit Ethernet Network Connection Driver for Windows 10. Now this takes us to a LAN Win 10 64 driver. So we want to download that one. It's about 80 megabyte in size. It's a pretty easy download. So you'll have to do this on a different computer, of course, because on the Intel Nook, when you install Server 2019, you have no network connectivity. You might ask, well, can I just install the Wi-Fi drivers? Because that's built into it. Well, no, you can't because they don't work either. But uh, if you're installing Wi-Fi drivers on a server build, I would strongly advise not to. <laughs> so this video is not about installing Wi-Fi drivers onto the server. All right, so that one's downloaded and look, you'll probably want to download 7-zip as well because we need to actually go into this um, this executable which has the uh, Intel drivers. So once you've got 7-zip installed, you want to uh, go uh, to 7-zip, either open it up from the start menu or you can just right click the file using the context menu and you want to extract it to its own folder. So the first thing you need to do on your Intel Nook to get this driver going is you need to open up Device Manager. Just right click on the uh, start button in the bottom left corner and go to Device Manager. Then you'll have your network adapter under here under other devices. You'll need to right click on it. I'll just right click on this one here for the moment. It's only here because I've already installed the driver. And then you need to go to the details tab here. And we've got the hardware ID for this driver, which is what Windows uses to know what driver that you require. So I've copied that to the clipboard now. Now what we need to do is um, open up PowerShell on your system. Just standard PowerShell is fine. We don't need IRC. All right, so now what we need to do is CD into the folder that has our download in it. And then we need to do a search. So we're doing get child item, recurse, 
and we're going to select string pattern and then we're using that piece of text that we copied to the clipboard I've got it in the address bar of the browser here and we are putting in the vendor information which is what V-E-N-E-N -E -N stands for 8086 is mine yours may be slightly different in fact it should actually be the same because it's Intel then we're putting in the device this can vary between um, systems So just type your own number in and we'll go group path and we'll go select name. Now, what that will do is search through the folders within your downloads there that should have that Intel driver. Okay, so what we can see here is we've got that directory which I extracted um, that driver to and we can see that we've got a couple of different uh, INF files here. So the idea behind this is we want to pick the one with the highest number. So I'm going to use this one here which is the 68. So I'm going to copy that path to the clipboard. Okay, so that's copied. I'm going to open that one up. Uh, in Notepad, of course. Open Notepad first. Control O and paste that one in. Okay, so that one is in there now. Now what we need to do is uh, we need to have a look for where we've got at the top of this file. It says exclude from for control flags. What we're going to do here is comment this out. So to comment, we just put in a semicolon and that will comment that out. That's the first step. Next, we need to look for our device information. And we will find the first part of our uh, string here in this INF file. So the vendor information and the device information. If you're using Notepad, go to the top and then Control F, and then paste it in. Whoops, wrong direction, we'll search down. Okay, so there may be a couple in this list, which there is. All right, so we've got a couple in there. Now we want to copy those ones. All right, so I've copied those lines to the clipboard. Now we need to paste that at uh, the 10.0 section of this document. So if we see here, you've got 10.0.1. You want to scroll down and paste it all the way under this one here, 18362, because this will be server 2019. So I got that one pasted in. And I'm going to go Control S and save that one. Now we need to disable uh, driver enforcement on this computer. So we're already in PowerShell as ad administrator, so there is no problem here. We can run this bcd edit command and set load options, disable integrity checks. All right, that completed successfully. And I'm going to set test signing on. Whoop. All right, and BCD edit set no integrity checks on. Whoop. put a T in there. Okay, that's done. Now, after you apply these settings, you may need to reboot your computer. 
next step is to install that driver. So I'm going to CD into, uh, uh, actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go PNP util WC I and then A, and then we're pasting in that INF file that we modified just before. Okay, so let's copy to the clipboard, pasting that one in, and then you press enter. So that's processing that one. And then this little message will come up. Do you want to select install this driver anyway? For the moment though, I'm not going to click next because I've already got this driver installed and it will disconnect my remote console. But that is the trick to getting the driver to install. After this, you should be able to do get net adapter and it should return that you've actually got the Intel Ethernet connection installed. Lastly, you need to clean up your mess and reapply those BCD edit settings so that you don't run into the problem of installing a bad driver down the track. Okay, and BCD edits set test signing off. Oh. Okay, that one's off. BCD edit set no integrity checks off. All right, that one's done as well. Exit. And you should now have your driver installed for server 2019 on your Intel Nook. So hopefully that was easy enough to follow. I do apologize for the quality of this video again, but hopefully it's helped someone in some way in installing server 2019 or 16 on your Intel Nook. It's fairly easy to modify an INF file, especially if you've done it once or twice before. I've done it a couple of times before um, when I've been uh, getting a USB to serial adapter to function with Windows 7. Um, back when Windows 7 had a lot of problems with getting drivers to work with uh, things from XP days. So I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, give it a like or a thumbs up. If you would like to see more, subscribe or don't forget to watch some of the other videos so you, uh, you can make an informed decision on whether you do want to actually subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again sometime soon. Bye.